Hey guys, so in today's mini month episode, I'm going to be sharing how I created this fall dip manicure using double dip powders, as well as a s'more decal from City Girl Decals. So let's get right into the video. Alright, so I'm starting off with my clean and prep natural nails, and I'm going to go in with a thin layer of my Sparkle & Co pH prep liquid. And this is a nail dehydrator which will prep the surface for the dip powder application. And then once that is applied, I'm going to follow that with a thin layer of my Oomp Peel Off base coat. And this is going to allow super easy pop off removal of my dip powder manicure. So I'm just applying a nice even thin layer to all of my nails and then letting that dry completely before moving on. So Double Dip sent me three of their colors from their fall line, and I actually did a haul video including these previously on my channel which I will link in the cards. And here are the two shades I'll be using. The first one is Desert Glaze and the second is Peachy Bells. And I will also be using my Double Dip base liquid to do the application. So I'm starting off with my pointer and ring nail, and on these two nails I'm going to be using that medium to light tan neutral color. And this is just a solid cream, and I'm going to do two dips to get full opacity. And you guys know that I've done quite a few double dip reviews and manis on my channel, and I've never really been disappointed in the formula of their powders, and these ones definitely did not disappoint. They applied super nicely and had really great coverage. So after dipping the first coat, I'm brushing off any excess, and now I'm going in for that second coat to get a nice fully opaque color. And I'm doing the same exact process of just applying the base, dipping into the powder, and tapping off any excess. Then I'm dusting off the nails one more time. And now I'm going in on my middle pinky and thumbnail with this beautiful sort of off-white cream shimmer color. And this one is absolutely stunning. It's super subtle, but I think it's very pretty with that slight sparkle, and it definitely is perfect for fall. And these two colors together just make me so happy. They are pretty neutral, which I definitely don't go for super often, but I think that they look really nice. So I'm just doing the same process, and I did two coats for this color as well, to get a full coverage nail. Then I'm just dusting off any excess color. And now I'm going to go ahead and clear encapsulate using Double Dip Clear Dip. And this is a clear powder that's going to seal in the color underneath and protect it from filing. So all I'm doing is applying a thin even layer of base to the entire nail, dipping into the clear powder and tapping off any excess. And this also adds some slight strength to the nails and make sure we don't take off any of the pigment to make the nail patchy. And after dipping, I'm brushing off any excess powder on the skin and nails. And then using my double dip activator liquid, I'm going to activate all of the nails to harden up the powder and make it ready for filing. And I applied two generous layers of this to all of the nails to make sure it really got to all of the layers of powder and made it nice and sturdy. And then I filed off camera and I'm brushing off any excess dust. Now I'm going in with my Sparkle Co. gel top coat and I'm applying a thin layer of this to all of my nails to seal in the dip powder. Now I will be going in with a decal on my middle nail, and I find that the decal better adheres to the gel top coat surface, so that's why I am applying the layer of top coat first, then apply the decal, and then seal it in with another layer of top coat, just in case you are curious. So I applied a nice even thin layer to all of my nails, wrapped the free edge, and then cured for 30 seconds. Here 
here are the decals I'm using. They are called Give Me S'more by City Girl Decals. And I'm using this super cute s'more image. And I'm just going to cut it out to size. And you really want to cut as close to the design as possible without actually touching it. Then I'm submerging it in water for about 20 seconds. And after that, I'm pulling it out with a tweezer and slowly sliding off the decal onto a makeup sponge to soak up any of the excess water. And once it is fully dry, I'm going to pick it up with my tweezer once again and then place it in the center of my nail. Now I wasn't expecting this decal to be as sheer as it was, so I'm glad I had a lighter color underneath so it could show up a little bit better. But I would definitely recommend applying these decals over white so you can really see the design. But anyway, I still think it turned out super cute and I'm going to seal it in with another layer of top coat to make sure it doesn't come off. And then I'm going to rehydrate my skin and nails using my favorite candy skincare cuticle oil. And here is the finished manicure I was able to create using the decals as well as the double dip powders. So I think this mani is definitely fall like and I love how it came out and I will link everything in the description in case you want to recreate this look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's Mani Monday episode. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe down below and I will see you in the next one.